Dave Tosh, Wenatchee Valley Senior Activity Center Executive Director. And today I am with Melissa O'Dell, uh, and, and we're going to talk about yoga. Uh, before we get into that, I just want to uh, make sure that everybody understands that we do have an exercise program on NCW Life TV. It's called Vibrant Motion. Uh, many of you have probably already tuned into it. Uh, and it consists of uh, aerobics and, uh, and Tai Chi, but uh, we want to branch out a little bit. And uh, so I, I'm hopeful that uh, Melissa is going to help us out, uh, maybe give us a few ideas about how to do yoga during this time that we're closed. And um, she does uh, live in our community. She works for the Wenatchee School District and has done uh, some yoga in our community with uh, members of our community. I guess last summer after we uh, were closed down, you went up to the Pasheston uh, Library and did some outdoor yoga. But you've also done uh, yoga with the, uh, the YMCA mm -hmm. and, uh, and then the library uh, also uh, uh, was uh, something. And that's how we found out about you, I guess, uh, was, uh, was you helping the library out. So if you could, uh, Melissa, tell us a little bit about your background with uh, yoga, how you became certified, and, uh, and what you're doing right now in your own words. Sure. Um, so I was lucky enough to take a introductory yoga class at a local gym many years ago, which spurred my interest in getting my 200-hour yoga teacher training. So I moved to Portland, and I did a year-long program there. Um, and then recently I did my 300 hour um, yoga teacher training and which um, helped me to get a little bit more knowledge in yoga. And then uh, I was teaching at the YMCA for a year in all levels class, more of a gentle yoga class at nighttime. And then also at Pashastin Library, we did an outside, which was also in all levels yoga class once a month. So it was really great for community members who maybe have never experienced yoga to be able to get a little bit of practice in. And then um, due to COVID, um, all that teaching in person kind of stopped. So I've started my own YouTube channel with different forms of yoga. Um, there's chair yoga, there's also um, short yoga stints if you need a little bit of energy or a little break in your day, so. Uh, the Senior Center, uh, before we closed, uh, had uh, a couple yoga programs offered. We had uh, um, a Tuesday evening yoga uh, with a volunteer that led that uh, group. And then uh, Marjorie McIntosh was our leader of our daytime yoga. And uh, they met several, several days a week. And of course, right now, we can't do any of that. And I know that yoga has become a pretty popular, important exercise regimen. Uh, can you tell us some of the benefits that uh, seniors would get out of uh, participating in yoga? I think especially right now, since we are at home and maybe our stress levels are a little bit high, I think yoga is a really great place to incorporate body awareness, learning how to connect with your breath. And yoga is really great for increasing focus and kind of allowing yourself to relax um, as well as working on balance and working on that building up your core. Maybe if you're sedentary and not moving as much, yoga is a really great start to kind of slowly begin to build flexibility and strength with your body. Well, I do know, again, that uh, yoga became very popular here at the Senior Center just by looking at the numbers of people participating. And so I can only imagine that those who have been able to tune in to the NCW Life programming are, are thinking, well, you know, is there a, is there a mechanism that I can uh, find to uh, participate, maybe interactive with um, a YouTube video or, or a recording somewhere? Um, can you offer some thoughts on, on how they might go about that? Yeah, so I did, in partnership with the NCW Libraries, I did um, transition to teaching yoga online, which you can find on NCW Life. And those are about 15 to 20 minute little videos. And 
feel free to do five minutes or 10 minutes or all of the video. That's a great place to start. Well, I've already mentioned the fact that we're doing aerobics and uh, Tai Chi on our vibrant motion uh, programming. Uh, we're also uh, looking into the idea of offering yoga. And uh, you might be a key component in that because obviously we're going to need a leader. And, uh, and you've already done some things on, uh, on, uh, that are on YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, some recordings. Video. And can you talk just a little bit more about how we might get that done and, and get that on the, on the program? Sure. So I guess um, I'll kind of talk about my philosophy of yoga. I feel that yoga is for everybody and there are many adaptations that you can do. So for example, down dog can be done in the traditional form with your feet connected to the mat as long as your hands, but you can also use a wall or a chair. So it's really for all abilities and all bodies. So it's a great way to practice and um, get yourself moving. Okay. And so um, this would be something where uh, they might be able to tune in and watch uh, on, our, on our TV program. And you would be uh, doing yoga with some background music. And then they could, at home, uh, kind of participate with that. Is that kind of what we're thinking? Yeah, and I think a great thing is that... Um, you know, we can, you can do this at home, so you can do this in the privacy of your own home. And it's really great to be able to maybe have a chair or a towel if you don't have a yoga mat. So yes, we are, we're looking at, uh, at getting some yoga on our programming. Uh, I think you could really help us with that. Obviously, uh, we're just in talks today. Uh, we just met you, as a matter of fact. But um, I think you're someone that could, uh, could do a great job for us. You're certified. Uh, you know yoga pretty well. You've already done some yoga in our community with others. And so uh, we're really looking forward to a, a good work, working relationship. And, uh, and maybe we'll get this on the air here sometime uh, in the spring, I would hope. And, uh, and people could participate at home. We're also looking into the idea of, of having a small group uh, uh, of seniors that uh, uh, you work with, uh, you know, on the video, uh, and, and that might that might work out as well. So, any last thoughts that you have uh, before we uh, we conclude the video? Um, I appreciate talking with you today, and I look forward to possibly working with you and teaching yoga to people in their homes.